All right, so today I want to make a video about a patch that I made for a gig coming up where I need an acoustic guitar and I need an electric guitar. I wanted them to both go through one preset, one patch of the Stomp Excel so I could control them. And there's a way to separate the two lines. You know, you can make two parallel lines on the Stomp Excel. We'll show you in a minute. And I can obviously, I will share this preset and you can download it on my on the zip file that I have on my website. The link is in the description and in a pinned comment. Uh, yeah, all the I think I have about 30. Let me have a look at the file. So this is the, the zip file with all the folders from every YouTube video that I've made so far. There are about I think 27. Some have multiple like the in ears thing has multiple folders, some uh, some also have like impulse responses that are all freely available. So this is the file that you will download uh, going on my website. Again, the, the link is in the description and in a pinned comment. And if you can make a donation, that's great. It's quite easy to make a donation on my website, it's, you know, through PayPal. And I, you know, thank all the people there. Just want to thank all the people that have made a donation uh, and downloaded, and hopefully getting some news out of these patches. When I have a gig, I tend to make some new sounds, and I. You know, I'm happy to share them in exchange for maybe a shout out, a donation, a like on a video or what else. So let's get back to this. So as I said, I have a gig coming up where I need an acoustic and an electric and I wanted to get uh, everything through one patch of the Stump Excel. You can see here I've separated two lines, two parallel lines, and I made uh, first a, a link here that you can uh, choose to split in different ways. The one that I have split is split Y, and I've, uh, the, the top line, the, uh, the line A, has a balance all to the left, and the, uh, the second line has balance all to the right. Same thing here at the end when the two lines join again to get to the main uh, left, out, left and right output. You will see that the top uh, goes all to the left, and the right goes all the way to, sorry, the B or goes all the way to the right. Uh, as normal, you can pick the, the upper level, which in this, uh, in this case is 3 dB. But again, this is all depending on what, on your instruments, on your guitars that you have. But really the, the, the trick is to have the two lines, the two split parallel lines, one going all to the left and one going all to the right. And you can see, I'll post a little picture that uh, the you know I have my guitar on the right input going in my right right input and out on my left, right input and the acoustic going in the left input and going out of the right input. So uh, I have my acoustic guitar and that's basically the bottom line here and you can see I have a compressor impulse response so here I have a hummingbird and it will be con uh, containing one of the folders of that zip file, I have an EQ and a reverb. Keep my guitar here. So in my guitar, I'm purely using the piezo here. This guitar is a Yamaha with the impulse response, but I'm just using the piezo. You can see if I turn off the impulse response, Sounds like you know, like a guitar that sounds when it's DI'd. But the impulse response, even though the guitar is direct into the desk, into my interface, um, I, I will have that feel of a microphone. So you So, uh, again, these are things that you can adjust depending on your guitar. And all I need to do is turn the volume off on the acoustic and pick up my electric, turn the volume up. I have the guitar coming through my ears. I think for this gig, I'm going to use the amp, but for the patch, literally, I've, I've, uh, I've literally just put a. a uh, impulse response and an amp for the electric guitar to get you know a sound. So this is the amp, the Princess, which is a Princeton. Then I have some reverb, 
and on the two top um, foot switches, I have a, an electric. I have a distortion. And I have a delay. Okay, so again, it's up to you what you need. If you don't need impulse response, you can remove this block and add maybe something for the electric guitar side. So as always, you have eight blocks to play with and you can shift them on whichever line you need. Uh, but remember that, as I said, the, the guitar needs to go into one input in the same output on the other end, and they both need to be plugged in at the same time, meaning uh, you can't unplug things that, that it will turn off the the you know the, the stereo system so to speak so you have to always have the, the guitar plugged in on one end uh, on one side and the acoustic plugged in on the other side same side of the output for the electric same side for the acoustic as an output so that's it really i wanted to share this um uh this patch it's always quite useful i think in pop it happens quite a bit that you have gigs where you have the you know the acoustic and the electric um, pretty much uh, that you need as default, so to speak, or a classical or an electric or, you know, two guitars, basically. And this gets away with that. Obviously, you will have two mono lines. They're not stereo. Uh, but if you have then some stereo effects after after the, the stomp, you can do that. Uh, you can you can get the guitar, in, you know, maybe the modulation or reverbs in stereo, so to speak. That's a bit more common than having the preamps and, the, and overdrives in stereo. That doesn't make any sense. So, um, yeah, that's it, really. I wanted to share the, the patch. As always, if you found any value in this video, please feel free to share it uh, with some friends or through social media or um, like, and, uh, subscribe. As always, those, those are the things that help the most. And uh, that's it. Take care. Bye-bye.